Hey everyone, so we just picked up a lawnmower and we're going to do a quick unboxing and putting together and then we'll give you a little bit of feedback on how it mows and everything. We picked this up from Home Depot for $400. We really liked this one because it has a few accessories that I really wanted. A few options, which is here on the side, which I'll kind of talk through real quick, is uh, it does come with a bag and so it has bag on demand so there's a lever that you can switch quickly switch from mulching to bagging um, so I really liked having that option that's important to me another thing is it has the high back wheel which helps it go over the terrain a little bit better and we have some pretty rough stuff here lots of rocks and whatnot in the lawn that we saw to get moved out and, and things like that lots of gravel here and the last thing that I really liked about this also, I, well, there's a few more things. The next thing that, that I really like about this is the smart stove. It takes up to 70% less storage space than a 22 inch Toro mower. Um, what that means is you can actually fold the handle down and then this can be stored in the vertical. Uh, this can be stored vertical, so right up against the wall, which means it's not going to be taking up very much space. That's something that I've always hated about uh, lawnmowers, so that was really key for me. Um, it's really cool that this engine is, not, is designed to where it can work that way. You can just tip it up and store it that way long term. And it does have a recycler cutting system, suspends and recuts clippings into a fine mulch. And uh, so we'll go ahead and start pulling the stuff out. Um, the, we had opened this box already just to make sure that it did come with the oil um, because we stopped at O'Reilly just to just in case we had to pick some up. But this lawnmower did come with its own oil. Uh, another thing that it does talk about is no oil change required. So it's saying for the life of the mower you shouldn't have to change this oil, which uh, pretty cool. I'd probably just check it uh, in case anyway, but here is the uh, registration information to fill out and send back. And then we have the operator's manual and uh, a little bit more information. I think this is the parts, register your product and, and parts stuff. So this is a 22 inch mower, which is another thing that I really like. It's a nice wide base there, so I don't have to make as many laps. Um, we have the outfeed piece here. have the bag itself um, not too bad it has a bracket there pretty simple style just loop it on um, the bars fold up some of the more expensive ones actually have an electric start ignition I didn't want to spend that much on it um, once you start getting those ones you're pretty much um, you're around about the same price as, as a riding lawnmower, which, you know, why don't you just take a step up. There's a few things to hold it in place. And this box was very heavy uh, when we picked it up. So I'm going to just scooch this over, tip it up, and I'll get the, the mower up here. So when it talks about the, the uh, vertical storage options, it talks about actually storing it in this fashion. So. Uh, with the motor down, the actual handle, base the handles up, and this is the way that it advertises storing it. So that was, again, that's that's a really big feature for me that, that I love. We don't have a whole lot of space as is, so very convenient. To lock it in place, this is a really quick lock system. It has uh, two different holes, so you just lock it up. So I can put it um, up just a little bit or down and then again all the way forward there's another walking position so I guess three four and then there is one right here you could lock it in as well so um, even if you're not going to store it straight up even this is a big improvement and just the fact that all you have to do is quickly turn that is so nice I remember having to unscrew things and, and stuff in order to move them so very nice feature I'm a little bit taller so I'm going to go in the top option here make sure it's locked in place now we do have um, this feature down here which is when it's uh, down in this bottom mode it has a picture right here 
and down is the bag mode up is the it has a recycling picture so that's going to be your mulching area so it says step one is is just moving um, these back locking them in place two says to go ahead and pull this back part of the advertisement for this is that it's a uh, personal pace mower pushes so this is essentially a, it has a motor for the rear wheels the rear wheels will push it um, so I'm assuming that's what this function is so it just goes as fast as you push the handle down to make sure that that is actually um, fed through and the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and fill the oil so it says fill oil here and then go ahead and remove this I've only had one other uh, engine straight from a box that had the oil with it so that that makes me quite happy so what this is saying right now is it doesn't actually tell me how much needs to go in there um, so I'm going to go ahead and pour some in until I see it on the dipstick um, in the hash marks it does want it towards the top of the hash marks that are on the dipstick here uh, and then it says go ahead and wait three minutes after it hits that point to let it settle in and get into all those nooks and crannies and then go ahead and finish topping it off as needed so we'll go ahead and start filling it now it is also best to let it run for a while and recheck the, the oil level at that time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop at this point. It looks like it's starting to come up. Now, it's a lot of it's starting to come up there too because it's a fresh pour. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this back in and wait three minutes there. And then I'll double check it and make sure that it has enough. Next thing it says is go ahead and put some fuel on it. So this is able, um, it'll either latch on the notch or it'll go in between the notches those are both options quickly go over the side chute and bag attachments here so this is a very easy to attach side chute you just pull this up there are two notches on the top there once you put it in place um, there are two little wedges right here they come down and they walk into that and so it's pretty sturdy sturdy and move them over the mower with it so very easy to use system for the bag attachment we're just going to move it up and again i i haven't practiced any of this i'm just going off of um what seems right here so it's a very easy to use system so it has the front handle here there is um the bar does shoot across um, on either side past the bag up here at the front and there's a little handle here to help you so it just slides and then there are little slots on either side so where the bar extends past the bag you just put the the bar into those slots on either side and uh, then uh, this top plastic piece actually has a piece that rests against that top handle right there and um, so nice rigid frame sits up here a bit and again very sturdy this piece right here the further down you push it the faster it'll actually propel itself so uh, it just depends on how much you're actually going to push on this top bar here as to how fast it's going to go but it also still has this back one i like to for the most part do lawn mowing um, without the the uh, pace system the self propel system but we did get that in case the kids wanted to start help uh, mowing lawns as they got a little bit older. Uh, but I personally prefer just to push it myself, a little bit better workout. Uh, the last thing that this is covering right here is the storing option. So it's just saying that the fuel should be not in the neck here, that it should actually be down in the tank. And then you just go ahead and, and flip these up, do it. And it needs to be flipped the handles up. It does need to be stored at a straight 90 degree angle. It says not to do it at, at uh, any other angles. It says that if you're transporting it in a vehicle or whatnot, then it should be stored like this um, as it's flat, not up in a 90 degree angle. It does have a guaranteed to start for three years. Um, so that is also another nice feature. I've let the oil settle and it's actually in the perfect place now and I've went ahead and filled the fuel. Again, make sure that it's not coming up into the neck just so that it's in the fuel tank. And another thing to mention that wasn't in the instructions at all is the cleaning port. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the bag. I do not want to do that right now. I'm going to keep it on the recycling position here and I have the chute 
on there. Go ahead and pull this back and um, we'll see about this guaranteed to start business. downside I'm, I'm seeing to this one right now um, right off the bat is that again I do like to just push it myself and the only way to keep it running is to keep this bar depressed which means this is the most comfortable way of holding this um, to hold it down here in order to push it is going to get pretty exhausting after a while um, so or even from the size all of this is going to be pretty exhausting so it definitely is promoted just to to do this it's not very comfortable to actually try and reach down there and do that but you can if you like to do your own thing that does make it a little bit more difficult so um if you have any questions please let us know and uh we'll do our best to answer your questions uh, also if somebody else knows the answer to a question that's asked below in the comments please go ahead and answer it the the whole purpose of this is just the diy community so um please help each other out i greatly appreciate it thanks for watching and have a great day DIY with Chris, giving you the tools to do it yourself. Today on DIY with Chris.